question. Can you explain what internet is? Yes, I love technology. Pretty amazing. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. Hey guys, Mr. Ogden here. Today we're going to create a Movely. A Movely is basically like making your own video using different pictures and objects and backgrounds and sound effects, music, and also text. So you're basically going to edit, be editing your own video. So to start, you need to click on the link down here that says um, watch the, the tutorial video. And you're going to go to uh, Movely.com. So open up uh, Movely.com. Now before you do anything, you need to pause this tutorial video and watch this video right here on the uh, main page. So you'll click play and watch this full video. Animated when you're done with the video, go ahead and close it. And you're then gonna go going to create your own account. So you're going to click sign up and put your first name. <clears throat> And last name, put your email address, use your four letters. So let's say it was, that was my four letters. Use your email address at uh, .org, at fresnou.org, and then do your, your password. You need to check this box down below. You don't need to click the top one and then click sign up. But don't forget to put your first name, last name, and also your password and click sign up. I already have an account, so I'm going to log into mine. Okay, and when you log into your account, it should have your four letters up here. Mine says my name, or actually should say your name. And scroll down and where it says My Moves, and you're going to click on New Move. You can title it. You can just put your, your name. I'm going to put like Mr. Ogden's First Move, whatever you want to call it. For the category, you can just put Education and click continue. Here's a style for for the background. We don't have a pro or a plus account so we can't use any of these down here but you can use any of these up here. And I recommend a simple one to start so any of these four up top I'm gonna click on this one. You can use any of them. So when you press select it'll load some things and this box will come up that says take the tour. Now, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to go through the tour. You need to do that tour on your own. You click Start Tour, and it'll teach you how to drag and drop and how to use the tools within this program. So it'll say drag and drop an object from the library to the stage. So this is the Movely library. You can come here and click All or whatever, <clears throat> whatever things you want. And let's say I want to drop the happy face. And now you're going to go through all the different things it tells you to do. Click on the object and drag drag it to the right position on the stage. Now you can resize it, rotate it. You can do all kinds of different things. So I'm not going to go through all of the details with you. You need to go through this one step at a time so you can learn how to use this program. I've already done it. So you need to go through that. It'll teach you how to use the program. So for our assignment, if you go back to Google Classroom, you need to do a, a few different things. You need to use at least 20 items from the Movely library. You need to have at least three sound effects. You must use at least one downloaded picture from my library, and it must be one to two minutes long. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to add music as well if you're interested in doing that. So first, 20 items from your Movely library. So if we go back to Movely, this is your Movely library. You need to have at least 20 of these items. They don't need to all be on this first page, but as you move along and you click spacebar, it'll play it. You don't need to use all 20 items on this first page. You can click spacebar and put it in different places. You can click and drag this to make it longer. And then you can Put different characters in. You can put text in.
you can change the text color font everything over here so the, for the first part of the lesson you need to have at least 20 of these characters used you can come here and click all now this will be all the characters now there's 44 pages of objects that you can use so you need to have at least 20 of those in, in your throughout your project now remember your project according to Google Classroom needs to be one to two minutes long so sound effects okay now let's talk about sound effects let's say I had a character here of a dog and I wanted to add a dog barking now let's say I wanted to add a sound effect for that dog barking well you can come down here to sounds and there's all these other sounds that I have uh, already recorded but let's say I want to download a, a song or <clears throat> let's say I want to download a sound effect so I can have this dog bark so what you do is you go here you go to Scandinavian middle school so you go to this exploring technology website and you click on and you click on video production and if you scroll down to resources where it says sounds there's lots of these websites where you can download sounds so let's click on just this first one find sounds so findsounds.com uh, you can just click on or type in barking and you can play them and listen to them okay so there's a dog barking if I go back and I, if I want to download that one you can just right click on the link and click save link as and you can just save it to the desktop so make sure you click desktop and then click save and it will download it says dog.wave that's a basically a sound effect file so now it's in my downloads folder so if I go back to my so now if I go back to my movely add sound button down here now you can add a sound so I actually saved mine to my desktop so I'm gonna click that dog.wav and click open click save now that sound effect for the dog will show up here under my personal library so it says right here preparing dog.wav so as soon as it says so that that preparing goes away now you can click and drag this onto the board here and let go and you notice dog01 it shows up down here now when i press spacebar okay now my dog is barking now let's say I wanted to add the animation. If you watched the tutorial video earlier, you'll know how to add animation to your dog. So if we click on him and click choose animation, I can have him fly in. So now when I play, the dog flies in and it barks. And I have text, and that's one of my objects that I need out of the 20. So now we learn how to do a sound effect remember you need to have three of those now we need to have one downloaded picture from my library so currently in my library I already have downloaded so currently in my library I've already downloaded an image so if you go to your personal library here's your images here's your sounds right now we're in sounds if you click on images I have this scan logo you can use any picture that you want as long as it's school appropriate but if you want to go back to that scan website that we were just at this uh, scan explotech.weebly.com if you want to go back to that website and you click on this picture right here go back to the main page where it says exploring technology and scroll down there's a really big logo here that you can use and download so if you just right click on the Scandinavian logo and click save image as save it to your desktop now you can go back to Movely and click on the little camera and add that picture to your from your desktop so there's the picture right there and you click save and now I have this picture that I can drag and drop and use in my movely and resize and I can animate that as well so as far as the assignment uh, I don't necessarily care what uh, what the theme of your movely is you can do a professional football team or your hobbies or interests or anything that you're interested in as long as you're using and meeting all the requirements that I mentioned in Google Classroom. So you need to have 20 items from the movie library, three sound effects, one downloaded picture, it needs to be one to two minutes long, 
And if you want to add music to the background, I can show you that right now as well. So let's say you wanted to add like a cool hip hop beat or something like that. You can go to YouTube and you can type in like background music or anything like that. So let's just type in hip hop beat. Okay, so let's say we wanted to use this beat for the background. What we want to do is we want to click up top and press Control and, and C, so we copy it. Hold down Control and press C. It copies the link. Open up a new tab and type in YouTube to MP3. YouTube to MP3. So once you type in YouTube to MP3, click on this first one, YouTube to MP3 converter. MP3 is basically the same thing as a, a song or music. So you can do YouTube to MP3 converter. You click in this box and you press app or uh, control and then V to paste it. Control and then V, it'll paste your, your link to your video and you press convert video. And then you click download. So it'll download down here. So now I can go back to my Movely and let's say I wanted to add that hip hop beat into my Movely now. Again, this is a bonus thing. You don't necessarily have to do this. You can click on the add sound button again and go to your downloads and there's my hip hop beat. And click open and then click save. <clears throat> And now it'll show up in your personal library under sounds. So once it's done uh, uploading, now you have your song right here. You can click in drag and drop. And it shows up right here at the top. Now when we play by pressing space bar, we'll hear our song. Now one thing about adding a song is that you can't have your song go for the entire duration of your Movely. Because remember, we need to have a Movely, our Movely be one to two minutes long with all these requirements. So you also need to have three sound effects. So if your song is going the whole time, you cannot hear your three sound effects. So make sure that you're very aware of that. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Don't forget to press save up here at the top this little blue or this little white button click save and when it says save successful that means your movie has been saved and you'll be good to go there's lots of things you can do with this program it's uh, very detailed and you can do a lot of cool things with it so make sure you spend your time and you make a, a really good movie all right let me know if you have any questions